Hi guys, today we will see how to manually install view storefront with its latest release release 1.12.0 along with the Kepibara theme. So let's get started. Uh, this is the official GitHub website for the view storefront project. I have actually cloned this project on my account. Uh, sorry, I have forked this uh, project on my personal account. So we will use that repository for cloning. <coughs> so first of all, we'll clone the project on our local uh, machine in order to run the view storefront. So from here, I'll use the repository path for cloning. I'll use it clone. It is cloning the project in project in my local machine. Uh, meanwhile, we can see the uh, package managers which are which we are going to use or which we require for running the view storefront. Basically, we'll need Node package manager and Yarn package manager. So I have already installed Node.js from its official website nodejs.org i have used mac os installer so uh, it by by installing it from the installer it automatically installs the node package manager and nodejs in my machine so npm is already there uh, next we need is yarn package manager so i'll use npm command to install yarn okay so yarn is installed in my machine so all the package package managers are ready to go now new storefront is also downloaded the next step is to download the capybara theme for it so this is the official github website for the vsf capybara project uh, again i have forked this on my personal account so we'll use that for cloning so uh, on this uh, VSK, vsf capybara uh, project page you can see at the last we have installation steps given <clears throat> so these are the steps you need to do while you are installing the vsf 1.12.0 manually along with the capybara theme so yeah uh, these are you these are required only when you are installing manually uh, and if you are installing it through VSF CLI so uh, in that case uh, you won't need to do these these steps and a default theme will come along with the CLI installation so these are the steps for manual installation so you can see here seven seven or rather six steps are given for installation but uh, there are some steps missing which we are going to cover in this video so let's download uh, the capybara theme so in order to do that we'll first of all we'll install the Lerna package manager as a first step So it's downloading. Uh, next step is to uh, add the, or rather clone the capybara theme into src slash themes slash capybara slash src slash themes folder of the view storefront. So for that, we'll just use git submodule command. The only difference is I will use my git path rather than the official path. So let me copy this command, get submodule. We'll run it under 
Beach Road Fund. Oh, sorry. So I'll use my bit path. So it is cloning the Capybara theme into view storefront. Okay, Lerna package manager is also installed. And yeah, Capybara is also downloaded now so the next step is to just fetch the data this is basically not a mandatory step but we'll just do it we'll download all the necessary data for the theme okay the next step is to copy the local.json file from vsf capybara to the root config directory of the view storefront but <clears throat> yeah here actually here is one step missing which we are going to see now so i'll just open this project in code editor first okay so here you can see we have Capybara theme downloaded and in that you can see there is no local.json file yet so this is the missing step here uh, for that you need to go to scripts folder under Capybara theme and you can see here there is generate local config.json file uh, .js file available so this is the file which uh, actually creates the uh, configs required for the capybara theme so it will actually create the local.json file when we run this file script so let's run this script first so before running the script i think we'll first need to download all the dependencies required for the view storefront so I'll just run the yarn command or yarn install command, which will download <coughs> all the dependencies from the uh, NPM website for the view storefront. So I'll use the yarn command here. Okay, so it is downloading the dependencies. While it is downloading, I think we can do the fifth step, which is just to replace this uh, SRC slash theme slash default string uh, with the capybara string. So we'll need to replace it in tsconfig.json file. So let's replace this. Yes, config.json file. So here in theme, we'll need to replace this. Okay, it's still downloading the dependencies.
it's almost finished okay it's done so now once it is downloaded uh, we can run the script which is which is going to generate the local.json file so i'll use the node command and go to the path of that script rc themes Ibarra, and generate sorry scripts generate local config.js okay so now it is run and you can see here a file is generated local.json and this file consists all the configuration which we need to overwrite for the capybara theme so <clears throat> these are the configs which we need to override in the root folder config configs default.json file so let me open that file and one by one uh, we can overwrite these configs in the in that file so i'll change the theme as given given capybara then under products we have thumbnails as given This is need to replace. Then we have thumbnails under cart which we need to replace. Then under entries we have under category we need to replace categories dynamic dynamic prefetch as false then under attribute we need to replace load by attribute metadata as true And we need to add this new config quick link because it is already not there in the default.json file. So we'll add it in the last. We need to do, replace API as API search query because now they have used the storefront query builder for the API. And at last, we need to make the enable map fallback URL as true. Okay, once these configs are overwritten in on the default.json file, now you what we need to do is again a missing step in the installation, which is run the yarn installer of the view storefront. So what yarn installer will do is it will take all the config from the default.json file <coughs> which we have changed and it will again create a new local.json file under the under the root config fol folder so that will be the actual uh, configuration which are which which are going to be used and for running the view storefront so now it will be for the capybara theme since we have overwritten all the theme related configuration so 
let's run the yarn installer here so <clears throat> for now i'll use the backend as the demo view storefront.io for images also i'll use the demo view storefront let's keep the ssr as n for now and yeah so now it is building and using all the configs and building the application This will take some time as we are installing it first time. Also, it is actually not recommended to use this yarn installer on the production instance or some <coughs> instance like uh, which are more critical because yeah in that case we we actually should create our own local.json file manually with all the required configuration and not use the uh, yarn installer in that case but yeah for now for the purpose of this video i have used the yarn installer and for the development environment you can actually use the yarn installer okay finally it is done in 213 seconds took a while but yeah for the first time it it is doable okay so once it is uh build for starting the development environment we just need to run the last command which is Lerna Bootstrap and Yarn Development, Yarn Dev. So Lerna Bootstrap will do nothing but download the dependencies for Lerna, and then Yarn Dev will start the development server.
okay you can see that view storefront has been started <coughs> on port 3002 so let's see on it on the browser I'm sorry. You can see that server is started, but still it is compiling all the TS files. And once all the compilation is done, you the view storefront will be up and running here with the Capybara theme. okay so i think uh, these are the enough steps required for running the views program with, with the kp barathi it might take, take long to compile these files so i think we can stop this video for now Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video.